Hi everyone, Mike here. Last week, Microsoft added a long-awaited feature, conditional formatting, to the iPad version of the Excel app. Traditional conditional formatting is where you say something like, make the cell background red if the number in the cell is less than 50. But there are other features of conditional formatting. There's data bars, there's color scales, there's icon sets. Conditional formatting on the iPad isn't actually new. It's available on Excel Online, the browser version of Excel. As I said, it's the Excel app I'm talking about here. And whilst it's a welcome addition to the app, it's actually not all there yet. Let me show you what it can and can't do. First of all, how do you get to conditional formatting? Well, you need to tap the Home tab on the ribbon, and the button is actually out of view. So I need to swipe to the left, and it's the very right-hand button there. So I'll just tap on that, and that is the conditional formatting button. Currently, there are three options. There's data bars, there's color scales, and there's icon sets, and a fourth option, that lets you clear the conditional formatting rules from either the sheet or the currently selected cells. One glaring omission is the ability to create your own rules. So for example, you can't select a cell and say, if the number in the cell is more than 50, set the background to red, which to me is the traditional use of conditional formatting. Let me start with color scales. One of the demos that I do in my DataViz training is to create a heat map in Excel. And I do this using color scales. Let me show you. I need to select all the cells with the numbers in, not the day numbers 1 to 31, but all of the other numbers. These are representing the number of people who've visited my store. I don't actually have a store, but this is the scenario I use in my training. The number of people who visited my store every hour of every day during a certain month. So I've just selected the cells and then tap on the conditional formatting button on the ribbon and tap color scales. I then get the 12 color scales, just like you do in the desktop version of Excel. And the one that I'm going to go for is the one called Red White. You can't actually see their names, but it's the fourth one in the middle row. So I'll tap on that one. And that has then applied the color scale to the selected cells. What it's done is it's looked at the range of numbers and the higher numbers are shown in red, the lower numbers are shown in white, and the what I call in between numbers are shown in in between colours. At the moment, there's no way to edit a conditional formatting rule, so I can't edit the settings of the colour scale like I can on the desktop version. Suppose I wanted to make the red darker or have a three colour scale. I'd need to do that on the desktop app. So that's colour scales. Next, I'll show you icon sets. In this example, I have a green dot if the status is complete, a yellow one if it's in progress, and a red one if it's not started. Now, icon sets on both the desktop and the iPad can only work on numbers. So what I've had to do is I've had to put numbers into column C to represent the statuses. And what I want to do is set this up so that if the status is a one in column C, it shows as green. If it's 0 0.5, it shows as yellow. And if it's zero, it shows as red. And that actually works. Let me select those cells and tap on the conditional formatting button and select icon sets. And I can choose from these icon sets, which are the same icon sets I have on the desktop version of Excel. So the one I'll go for is the one with the little uh, colored dots with the, the squares around them. 
you can see that actually works. It's got the right colors against the right numbers. But there are many times when you need to apply icon set conditional formatting and then need to edit the rule because it hasn't quite applied the right colors or the right icons against the appropriate numbers. And unfortunately, right now, there is no way to do that on the iPad. So that's it a first look at the implementation of conditional formatting in Excel on the iPad. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter? And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.